Hello again, we're back for part two of the tutorial uh, with the peppers and avocados gradient mesh using Adobe Illustrator. And before we get started, if you don't mind taking a minute of your time, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Like, share, comment. Thanks for watching. All right, as you see here, this is the pepper we did in the last video. Let me take off the, the locks here. And I went a little further and I did the, I just did a couple more enhancements, added a couple more new mesh lines, and I also did the stem as well. But what we're gonna do here today, we're gonna, we're gonna mesh this avocado. And the difficult thing, we're gonna do this right side right here, but the difficult thing about meshing this is we got this round uh, seed. And we're gonna do like we started with the pepper. We're gonna start with a with the rectangle tool as we create our shape. Let me get on the correct layer here, and we're gonna create this rectangle. And I'm gonna change. I'm gonna double click on this layer to to change this to a red so I can see it better. Cause that green on the avocado it won't show up that well. So I'm gonna put it in view again. Outline. And I'm gonna do a little rotation here just to get this shape already where it needs to be. And I'm gonna go to the gradient mesh tool here and I'm gonna put this click right in the middle. And I'm gonna just start shaping around like I did in the last video. Just do my basic shapes, putting them where the intersecting lines will meet and just makes it easier for me later. So just take your time and do it right in the beginning. It'll just be less headache for you. So I'm gonna just do it, put that there. Move this over a bit on the outer part of that skin. And I'm gonna bring this down as well. Just wanna get it right. Bring this about here. And right now, as we go through this, I'm not gonna worry about the seed at all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mesh everything around the seed and, and I'm gonna come in later and add in the mesh lines. And that's why I wanted to do this tutorial to show you just different ways of how you wanna uh, approach the, the vector you're working on. And Adobe Illustrator did a good job in creating the mesh tool. I want to give them credit for that. It's, but it's still, it's a, it's a difficult beast to tame. It takes a lot of practice to get the benefits of it. In some of my past works, I overused the mesh tool, but I was going for this hyper-realism just to see what I could achieve but it's it's not necessary. Let's see here. Um, all right, all right, so we got the basic shape down. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so I can make sure everything is one to one. Here, I got a couple of things I need to just fix a little bit here. And once I start laying down my mesh lines, I can do some extra tweaking on where these lines will lay. But for the most part, it looks decent. And it's workable. We'll get one more adjustment there. So, all right. I like it. We can work with it. So I'm going to start laying down a couple lines, just the basic lines, just to see where everything's going to start falling in place. And we're going to cover that, and that should get there. Okay, so I'm just put some here, and I'm going to ignore, like I said earlier, I'm going to ignore the shape of the, the seed. But we will start shaping around where the seed is. So by me doing that, this line here, I'm going to have to undo this, because I'm, let's see how we're going to approach this. I'm going to undo this one as well. So I'm going to put one right over the top of the C, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shape it so later I will have this little curve. And this is going to help me 
get this shape around here and help the blending process for later. So I'm doing a little planning ahead and you just have to just see what you want to do and just try to attack it to the best of your ability. So I'm going to come up here a little bit, but I'm going to bring this, I'm going to try to curve around just like a simple, a simple curve of the seed. So all the meshing I would do will basically conform in this little semicircle here. And like I said, it will help later and cause less headaches trying to shape with this seed. And I'm going to do the same thing on the side mesh. I'm going to start in some and I'm going to push it out. And I'm going to just go with this curve shape and go out a little bit further. And get one over here as well. Push it. And I can fix these lines, like this little curve here and this little small dip here. I can fix it with the anchor tool, which is located under the pen tool, like I mentioned in the last video. And I can command click and just straighten it back out. And do the same here as well. Command click on the Mac and straighten that line back out. And I, like I said, uh, I use the anchor tool a lot. It allows me to have more control over my mesh lines than normally allowed uh, with just moving the indirect selection tool or direct selection tool, sorry. And a lot of what I do here as well, I, I'm thinking while I'm working. So I might use and and um a lot. Just bear with me on that. Cause there's a lot of brain power <laughs> being used and this can be a difficult technique. So I'm just trying to let my brain flow while I'm talking to you guys as well. So, okay, we're going to bring that down. And pick it up a little bit. Just trying to go with that curve shape. All right. But we're not going to mess with the seed right now. We're just trying to get these little formations, which is going to help later. <laughs> okay, we can work with it. And I'm going to put basic line here try to get a little of this green I like to do a little humming while I'm working, just helps with my workflow. Since I don't want to play any music on the video and get any copyright strikes, I normally work with music just to keep myself in a rhythm. All right. Put one here. All right, I like where we're at right now. Mm. I'm gonna put a line here as well, but I'm not gonna really worry about coloring and what a seed is right now. We'll work on that when we get to that point. So again, uh, I hit the direct selection tool and I hit the eyedropper tool so I can just hit my command key and just work just keep flipping back and forth from there. Zoom in a little bit more. And while I do these basic, just uh, filling in these colors with the, uh, the mesh points, 
I will fast forward a bit. All right, let's take a look at it now. And as you see here, you, you can kind of see where this seed is going to fill in that, but I will start forming more around that curve and bring in these shadows as well to separate the, the, the meat part from the seed and then allow that blend to come in. So I'm gonna fast forward here a bit. So I got the basic shape laid down. And as you can see the seed there, I'm gonna go back to the view outline mode. Now I'm gonna start working on shaping this seed, getting this seed to get the colors to come in the way I want them to. So as you see, I'm gonna start working around this edge. And I just wanna close it in as much as possible. I'm gonna go here. And as I lay down the vertical lines and then I put the horizontal, you see the shape of that circle is closing in. And the mesh lines will eventually start shaping into a circle. It's hard to explain, but you just have to just trust me on that. I didn't work, I didn't try to figure out ways to do these different shapes from my basic starting point and it it generally works out just got to keep going and keep trusting that you can pull it off believe in yourself <laughs> and we'll go to get a couple more here and i think this will basically get me what i'm looking for and put one there and I think this should get it done. We're not really going to worry about the new lines that we added down here. They shouldn't even affect anything since the color is already there. Let's look and see. So it didn't really change much of what I had going on already. But we're, we will go in and start working on this shape of the seed. And as you see, I, the, from those earlier lines I laid down, I somewhat got that circular motion around the seed. So all I had to do was just fill in the later lines. So I'm going to click back on direct selection and I'm going to just work on this, this middle part here. All right, let's take a look and see what we have here. 
So... So we do have this shape here of the of the seed and we will do some cleaning up here and the seed will basically take that roundness that we're looking for. Now to get the cleaning up done, what we would do is click on these little areas right here where you see it's not fully round and we'll just sample from a nearby source. Get in between so that blend can take place. We wanna get halfway between here, this dot and this dot. So, I mean, for the most part, I like how this turned out. If I wanted to get a more distinct shape of that uh, avocado curve on the seed, I could just add another line here, right in between this dot and this dot, and just go back over that shape, and it'll give me a more defined line. But for the purposes of the video, uh, this turned out pretty good in my opinion it's not a distinct shape but if you if i take this piece i just worked on and look at the see it, it has a it has a, a more distinct curve here but that's all about colors and if i took the time and did a little more i can bring those same colors in as well but like i said for the purposes of the video we're good to go here a couple little spots all right i think we're done here so you can see what we worked with here so we worked on the avocado and we worked on the, the pepper so there we go thank you for watching and stopping by like subscribe and comment and until next time peace